What's going on, everybody? Today we're going to talk about an install of Nextcloud in under 10 minutes. If you're not familiar with Nextcloud, think of it as a self-hosted alternative to cloud services like Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. In summary, Nextcloud is an open source software platform designed to provide secure file storage, file sharing, and a suite of additional features like calendars, contacts, Kanban boards, and email all under one roof. Because it's self-hosted, users can install Nextcloud on their own servers like AWS, like we're going to do, which means they have full control over the data in terms of privacy and security. All right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and launch ourselves an AWS Ubuntu instance. Give it a name, come down here and get version 20 of Ubuntu. And I'm going to create a volume of about 30 gigabytes. 30. And you'll notice over here in the free tier, you get 30 for a whole year. So we're good. Okay. Let's create ourselves a key to be able to log in. All right, we gotta go fix the permissions on the key in accordance with the way that AWS works. So let's go over here to security, advanced, disable, and then remove the extra user. I have a whole video on this. Okay, close that down, the key's ready. Oh, hold on a second, I think I forgot to get ourselves set up in terms of HTTP and HTTPS. We really just need HTTP, but I'll put both. Okay, let's launch it. Let's come over here to the instance. What we'll do is we'll refresh until the instant state shows us running. And there we go. Now let's go to the instance. Let's grab the IP address so we can log in. All right, minimize that, open up a command prompt. And we'll change over to the directory where the key is, very important. There's my key, Ubuntu, and the IP address. Okay, and we're in. Let's go ahead and run update. Let's clear that. Now we're gonna use Snap to install the next cloud. And there it goes, installed. Clear it. Now we're gonna run the commands. All of these are in the paste bin, the link in the description. I'm adding my name and the user password. Okay, that's set. Let's clear that. And now we need to add the trusted domain. So just enter that command that's in the paste bin and here enter your, let's go get the IP address. Let's enter your IP address of your machine. So it allows you to log in. So that's the IP address of this machine. Press enter, trusted domain, and done. Clear out of that. All right, let's go open up a, a browser and enter the IP address. Let's log in. We're using the username and password that were defined in the previous step. And that's it. The whole thing's up and running, folks. We take a look at all the different bits and bobs that Nextcloud can do. You can use your phone, your desktop, Mac, Linux, use it as a file server. You can store your files from your phone to your next cloud.
Keep in mind, there's loads of tutorials out there with what you can do with uh, Nextcloud. And you will find, I find it to be spectacular. So I hope you find it interesting too. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. Your Google Drive, your OneDrive, your Dropbox replacement, full control with security in under 10 minutes. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one.